Hello everyone. Our today's topic is about measuring instruments. We will be learning about what measuring instruments are and how we use them. As you know, the world is full of things which have different lengths, heights, and weights. We often ask questions like how big is it? How long? How much? How heavy? How thick? How far? etc. We often compare things with each other or make a guess to get a rough idea of the size, weight or amount of an object. For example, when we compare a tennis ball with a football, we get that tennis ball is smaller in size but we do not know exactly how much small it is. Similarly, similarly, when we grab a sock in one hand and a jacket in the other hand, we feel that the jacket is heavier than the sock but we do not know how much the jacket and sock weigh. Scientists have invented various measuring instruments and measuring scales to calculate how big, heavy or far a thing is. The whole measuring system is known as metric system. The metric system contains instruments for each type of measurement and there are measuring units assigned to each of them. Measuring instruments are devices which help us measure objects and measuring units are the terms in which the quantity of object is defined. For example, a weighing scale is a measuring instrument which measures your weight in kilograms and pounds. These terms kilogram and pound are measuring units of weight. The measuring system is not only useful in science but in our daily life too. You may have noticed some measurements around you such as when you go buy shoes. You see there are different sizes of shoes in the shop which are mentioned in numbers on the shoes. If you know your number, you will easily get the right size of your shoes. Similarly, when you go with your parents to buy grocery, the shopkeeper weighs the meat and vegetables on a weighing scale according to how much you want before packing it for you. And when you see a recipe of a dish, you see that there are quantities mentioned with each ingredient, usually in numbers, grams and liters so you see how important measurements are. Do you know the ruler you use is a measuring instrument? 
it has centimeters and inches as measuring units we can use it for measuring length measurement of length we can measure length and distance using instruments such as a ruler a measuring tape or a meter rod the common measuring units of length are centimeters meters kilometers inches foot and mile have you ever tried measuring your height what instrument did you use measurement of weight we can measure the weight of objects to tell how heavy they are using different machines such as weighing machine kitchen scale and two pan balance the weight is mostly measured in milligrams grams kilograms ounce and pound have you ever measured your weight on a weighing scale measurement of liquids we can measure the quantity of liquids such as water milk juice and oil in different containers such as cup glass jug beaker and bottle these containers often have measuring scale written on them which indicate the quantity of the liquid the measuring units of liquid are milliliter liter gallon etc measurement of time another important thing to measure is time to keep track of time we can use a number of devices such as old fashioned or glass pendulum clock analog clock wrist watch digital clock stopwatch calendar we use alarm clock to wake us up in the morning we use stopwatch to keep track of how much time we have walked or run we set timer to complete a task like baking a cake in a specific time we can count how many days are left to our birthday on calendar you already know time is measured in seconds minutes and hours on the clock and in days months and years in calendar measurement of temperature by measuring the temperature of an object or an area we can tell how hot or cold it is a thermometer 
is used to measure temperature. You may have noticed when you have fever, your parents or the doctor check your body temperature with a thermometer to check how high your body temperature is. The weather stations also use large digital thermometers to check the temperature of an area. We hope now you have learned some more about measuring instruments. If some concepts are not clear, then replay the video again and again. Still, if you have some questions, then ask your teacher.